Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very special guest, Norma Black herself. We right now are in her studios. I recorded this look for you guys. We are having a contest. Well, she is having a contest and the theme is... The dark side of the red carpet. Ooh, look at this. And this is what <laughs> I would wear if I was, you know, Jennifer Lawrence in the red carpet. This would be my look. If that was the theme. <laughs> But of course, this is my glam. Right. <laughs> um, she's gonna tell you guys a little bit how to enter, um, what's the prize, the exposure you're gonna be getting if you win, if you um, decide to enter. So take it off. Okay, so quick details. This is open to makeup artists and stylists, uh, certified makeup artists and licensed cosmetologists to enter. Whether you're a student or a professional, two categories, students and professionals, two winners, lots of prizes. So for all the details, oh, it's October 22nd. The theme is the dark side of the red carpet and um, it's a contest. So if you can do hair and makeup, if you have a partner that you can collaborate with, like if you just do makeup and you need help with hair, and you know a famous hairstylist that can help like we paired up here, um, then team up and do it together. Get motivated, get inspired. That's what the whole thing is about, is to inspire and motivate people. So let's do this. Let's have fun with it. Uh, go to normablackstudios.com. That's Norma Black, B-L-A-Q-U-E, studios.com. And you guys will find everything there you need to find. And keep on watching to see how I got this look. So I'm just going to start off right into the look. It is going to be a little bit talk through. I'm going to get my Norma's mirror and we're going to jump right into this. So we're going to go in with a Morphe M514 and we're going to go with the Jaclyn Hill palette. I can't really show you the, um, the palette because it's just going to be really difficult for me. I'm just popping that in my crease. blend it out and drag it out so we're going to keep dragging that out with that M514 keep blending it and drag it out you're going to probably want to bring it down you know what I forgot to do I forgot to add a little bit of bake under my eye because we are going to be playing with um, the Jacqueline Hill palette, it has a little bit of fallout, not too much, just a little bit. So we're going to get a little bit of baking powder, baking powder, my translucent powder. We're just going to pop it right here. Just to catch any fallout. So now we're going to go in with a uh, clean blending brush and really blend that out and smoke it out. I already have my base done because you guys already know I usually always do my eyes first and then my foundation but because this is such a pretty smoked out eye I didn't really want to go in with the foundation and accidentally mess up the eyeshadow so I went in with the base first and all I used was the Veil Cosmetics um, primer my Makeup Forever foundation and my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte foundation and that's all I use for the base. And for concealer, I use my Makeup Forever HD concealer and my Maybelline Fit Me concealer to get that really nice, you know, highlighted look. We're gonna keep trying to buff this out. For the brows, I did something different. I went in with a little bit of um, glue, like literally a glue stick. Mine's just from my local 99 cent store and I brushed up my eyebrows and just did a really nice clean line on the bottom. And this look is dark, um, the theme for Norma's contest is the dark side of the red carpet. And I thought if I was, you know, like a Hollywood, Hollywood person, I mean, Hollywood actress, I would really, I would, this would be my go-to look, this, this is what I would wear to a red carpet event. You guys already know how dramatic I can be when it comes down to makeup and I wanted something really different. I wanted to express myself um, because I usually never really do looks like this because I try to keep it for you guys, but for the first time I'm doing what something I want to do and something I love and it's um, 
more red up pat walk pat mcgrath style you know what i mean so you're just gonna keep smoking that out and we're gonna keep going back with that clean blending brush and blend it all out So then after you blend that all out, you're going to want to go in with the Morphe M433 and with the, if you have the Jaclyn Hill palette, you guys know there's like the last three rows or the last two rows, the last two um, eyeshadows on the second last row, second to last row are pretty dark brown. So we're going to put that in the crease and build ourselves up to add the black. You never just want to go in straight with black because it can, if you don't know how to blend it correctly or you add a little too much, it can really ruin the look. So you wanna build up your browns and then go ahead with black. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll be back when I'm done with my browns. You're gonna do the same like motions, sweeping it out and then blending it in through the crease to get that even blend. Circular motions for blending to really get that perfect blend. I'm gonna try to bring it down a little bit. Now that I am done packing that brown with that Morphe M433, um, we're just gonna keep trying to blend it out. You're gonna pack, pack, and then blend. So what I mean when you pack, you're gonna press the product in the eyelid, and then you're gonna go ahead and lightly blend it out. You always want one clean blending brush, so you can keep blending. And you're gonna wanna bring it down to your eye, uh, your bottom, waterline and then flick it out that's the whole point and this is how you get that cat eye and really dramatic now what we're gonna do is get we're gonna lightly very lightly start going in with the black and i'm gonna go in with the morphe m506 and in the last row of the jacqueline hill palette the two last colors which was a really dark brown and black very lightly with the black and more heavier on that brown you're gonna pack it on and then you're gonna lightly blend out you have to be really careful with the black because black is a really tricky color you can either it could either make a look make bring the look together or make the look fall apart just be really careful take your time there's no rush just keep packing on color before you go in with that black. So you can go very lightly with it and have, won't have a lot of issue blending with it because you already had that really dark base to work with, which was your browns that you were gonna pack up, that you have packed up, sorry. We're gonna go back with that Morphe M514 with whatever's left on the brush from your transition color. Now you're gonna go in with that Morphe M506, which were you, um, M507. And you're gonna blend out that outer corner of that black and swoop it out. You're gonna bring it down. There's a lot of more blending to do. But you're gonna, you don't wanna add more product to the brush and then keep sweeping it out whatever what's on your eyelid and just keep moving your brush back and forth should automatically just lightly bring out the eyeshadows without adding any more product circular motions always my nose is itchy i actually like doing my foundation first before doing my eyes and I'm, I'm liking this feathered eyebrow again I kind of stopped doing it for a while for some reason I'm not really sure why it just didn't look really clean in my eye looks so I was like let's go back to Instagram bro highly regret it so we're gonna just go in lightly with that black and I swear ever so lightly I'm gonna start packing it on that lid and then slightly swoop it out Now going in with that clean brush. Now, yeah. 
we're gonna keep doing that blending packing on blending packing on always build up your colors and I'll be right back I'm back packing up that black um, I'm just going in back with my Morphe M514 and a little bit of those raspberry or orangey colors that I use and I'm just going to lightly blend it out and I added a little too much on this side so I'm gonna go back on the other eye and add a little bit more you know definition in there and now for the shimmer part I used my Jaclyn Hill shimmer which is on the second um, row last shimmer it's the gold one and the Ben Nye Lux powder which is like a little container and it has some gold um, sparkles in there and I'm gonna go in with the M224 M from Morphe and that gold shimmer with a little bit of the loose pigment and you're gonna pat it a little bit more gold shimmer and you're gonna want to cut almost kind of cut your crease with a shimmer a little bit more of that white pigment Now that I've added that pigment, I'm just gonna keep swiping it out. A little bit more of that white pigment because it's a little too gold. Or a little darker than the other eye. And I'm gonna keep sweeping it out as well with this one because this one got like a square at the end. And we're gonna go in with the Morphe M515, which is a really small detailed brush. If you're into details, you need this brush. It's a really small brush. And I'm just gonna pack on that black in the outer corner to blend out that um, harsh line of the shimmer. And then I'm gonna go in with a Morphe M507. And my first two transition colors were the cranberry colors. And I'm gonna pop that on the waterline. Keep building up those colors, colors, colors. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm gonna keep building it up. I think it's okay. You can swipe off that bake now. I'm using an elf. I think this is a contour brush. Either gonna push in the powder or swipe off. Keep smoking it out, always, always smoke out to the max because that's like blending, <laughs> smoking out is like the same thing as blending. Now we're going to go in back with that Morphe M515, a little bit more black and now we're going to be popping that on my waterline. I don't have gel liner or anything, I broke my Tarte one. So we're just going to put black eyeshadow on my waterline. It actually stays longer than anything I've ever used before. If you notice your um, eyeliners don't stay on your waterline, you can just use a black eyeshadow. It's not harmful. I don't think it's harmful. I just do it because I don't have one. And I notice I've had this eye done for maybe like an hour now. And the black eyeshadow has not moved. <laughs> you are going to feel a little bit of discomfort because there's eyeshadow going in your eye but now we're going to go in with those raspberry colors one more time and smoke out the bottom lid now this is basically all I do but I can tell that right here at the end, it's getting a little bit blotchy and it's like going away. So we're gonna go a little bit in with a black eyeshadow with the Morphe M515 again and really detail and make like a line at the end, just like that. And then we're gonna go in with the Morphe M562 and a little bit of that raspberry color, just a little bit. 
just to blend out that harsh line and now for lashes i am going to be using cleo goddess lashes and the style on fleek these are my favorite lashes i actually lost them for a while and like last week i found them so we're gonna use them today hey guys i'm so sorry i didn't even know that the camera wasn't focused so all i'm doing are my lips and i'm going in with kylie jenner cosmetics and the liquid lip in the color vixen and then i'm gonna do an ombre lip so over that in the middle of my lips i'm gonna go in with jeffree star unicorn blood liquid lip so this is the finished look i hope you guys really liked it i hope you guys enjoyed it please like this video please subscribe as well i will also be a judge in the contest and what i didn't know oh <laughs> you didn't know i was gonna be a judge that's why i'm here my brother is all shook that he didn't know I was going to be a judge, but I will be a judge and I hope to, guys see, hope to see you guys there. I hope to inspire you guys to know that it doesn't matter your sexuality, um, sexual orientation, it doesn't matter your transgender, your age. You can be 10 years old and still love makeup. You guys can do it. Chase your dreams and thank you for watching.